Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this playlist that got 778,000 views, leveraging other related creators' videos, and how this playlist drives me tens of thousands of video views to my channel. So I'm going to be diving into how to create playlists, how to optimize playlists, and how to actually use playlists to grow your YouTube channel in 2021 and beyond. Let's get into it. Creating a YouTube playlist in 2021 has never been easier. In fact, there's three different ways that you can do it. Here I'm going to quickly show you each of those individual ways. The first way is when you're cre when you're uploading a new video onto YouTube, this is the uh, back-end editing dashboard here. Uh, if you scroll down and look at the playlist option here, it'll say nothing off the bat, I already have it in a playlist. But here you can add it into any of your existing playlists that you have here, or you can simply click New Playlist. There it'll ask you to uh, add a title of that and then uh, Create, and it's as simple as that. The second way is to actually navigate to the Playlist tab in your backend analytics, and how you would do that is by clicking on your profile icon in the upper right hand corner, and then clicking on YouTube Studio. And then once you're in YouTube Studio, you would click on the Playlist tab here. Then from here, it's going to show you all of the current playlists that you have, and you can edit them all within there. But then in the upper right-hand corner, you can click this new playlist icon and create your new playlist from there. The third way is on an actual public video. Now, this can be anybody's video. This doesn't have to be your own video, uh, but it can be. And when you're looking at a video that you want to add or create a playlist around, right below it on the right hand side, you're going to see this uh, save button here. And when you click that, you can either add it to an existing playlist here, or once again, you can create a new playlist. Now I'm going to show you how to optimize playlists and how you can leverage people's videos to grow your own YouTube channel. This is exciting stuff. One of the coolest things about YouTube playlists is they actually are searchable in the regular video results. So when you type something into Google, or when you type something into YouTube rather, there's a chance that if your playlist is optimized that it could show up there. Uh, and it has a really solid likeliness of, of showing up when you use keywords like playlist behind it, of, co of course. So this playlist, for instance, of mine that I showed earlier, what I did, how I created this playlist originally was not to strategically grow a channel, but to have background music. Uh, this is an instrument that I really enjoy. So I started um, indexing all of my favorite ones into a playlist and after a period of time uh, YouTube started promoting that playlist and then I started my own channel with uh, a similar instrument and I began to insert my videos into this playlist uh, strategically and it's consistently uh, generated views for me so because playlists are searchable you want to make sure that they are fully optimized to be found for search so that begins with the title here, and think about this as as key uh, keywords um, that you know, just like you're creating a, a YouTube title for a regular video to show up in search, you want to optimize all of this uh, for your playlists as well. So I went with handpan playlist. That's the name of the instrument. Uh, this also does rank for handpan, the root keyword there uh, as well. So you want to have an engaging. Uh, keyword friendly title for your playlist and then you also want to make sure that the description is fully optimized and has that keyword in there as well. Now there's a couple other cool things that you can do here if you click this uh, plus icon you can uh, enter playlist settings, um, you can allow embeds, uh, you can um, the series playlist is only for your own videos so I'll show you how to quickly do that as well uh, but they, it gives you full flexibility if you want to add new videos to the playlist here and whatnot. You're also free to maneuver these videos however you want. Additionally, you can check the analytics of your playlist as well. If you click on the analytics tab, 
And then under views, click see more here. Once this goes up here, you're gonna click on the playlist tab. And then it's gonna show you all of your individual playlists. You can go into that playlist. And then I would go back to video over here and it's gonna show you the amount of views in that playlist, the watch time hours, and some really great information here. So, how can you use these playlists to strategically grow your own channel? What I would do is, no matter what your niche or whatever your industry is in, I would start by searching for the broad category that you do. So, uh, I might do SEO tutorials for my channel, for instance. And then what I would do here is these are already the, the top ranking ones, so you know that these videos are going to generate us uh, uh, a lot of engagement and, and watch time. So I would just open all of these up, for instance. And then once this video loads, I would click save down here, and then I would create a new playlist and title it something like best SEO tips for 2020. You know, focusing on that keyword again. And now I can index all of the top SEO tip videos for 2021, and I can also add my own videos to that playlist. If you want more great tips like this, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and watch this next video where I'm gonna go into some more advanced tutorials for you. I'll see you in that video.